If you have several conditions using if and else if, it's often clearer to use a different construct known as switch case. Using this approach, you write your condition once, then list all possible outcomes and what should happen for each of them. To try us out, here's a weather constant containing the string sunny. Let weather equals sunny. We can use a switch case block to print one of four messages. Switch weather, case rain, print bring an umbrella, case snow, print wrap up warm, case sunny, print wear sunscreen, and default, print enjoy your day. Then end the switch block. The last case, default, is required because Swift makes sure you cover all possible cases so no eventuality is missed off. If the weather is anything other than rain, snow, or sun, the default case will be run. Swift will only run the code inside each case. If you want execution to continue onto the next case, use the fall through keyword like this.